it is a slow build, you know, honestly. Like, at first, I, I was just like, this is a cool activity I enjoy doing. Things started getting serious for Justin Best when he met Brooks Reinhardt of the Wilmington Rowing Center. Brooks put Justin in a single boat. His ambition took over. He'd say, okay, let's row 10 miles, and he'd come in and go, can, can we go do two more? <laughs> yeah, okay. And off we go, you know. It was always like, yeah, I'm ready to do more. Justin graduated from Unionville High School in Chester County. His senior yearbook laid out his Olympic dreams. It was, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Um, and so I was class of 2015, so I was like, all right, LA 2028. And, you know, here I am all these years later, and I'm like, it's still pretty unbelievable. It wasn't all that unbelievable for Paul Savelle. He's the head rowing coach at Drexel, and he saw Justin blossom into his team's captain with the Dragons. He was a special guy, but he didn't start that way. I mean, he made himself special because nobody outworked him. Nobody, nobody worked harder than him. Justin's hard work came on the Schuylkill River. The countless hours he put in along Boathouse Row will serve him well in Tokyo. I was fortunate enough to win a Dadvale Regatta in 2017. Knowing that community, knowing that history right along Boathouse Row, it is fantastic that we have that and, and like I wouldn't be here without that entire setup. Justin's parents, Glenn and Jean, continue to push Justin to be his very best. So too does the memory of his cousin Matt, who died of brain cancer at only 28 years old. That entire event like made me realize, you know, life is short. You know, you, only, you don't know how many days you have. Going to Tokyo and if we were to win for that, you know, that would that would like be a perfect like the, the cap to that like mantra in Matt's memory. You get a kid like this, you know, one in 500. Just, I'm sorry, just kid just loves to go. And you got you to gotta love it. Not many love their sport more than Justin, and he's bursting with pride to represent his country. I think this group of guys that we have, uh, especially with the Philly representation, uh, we're on the right path. So you heard Justin mention all the Philly ties on his boat. His teammates, Nick Mead and Julian Vinansky, they're Episcopal and Malvern guys. And the team's coach, Mike Tatey, yeah, he's a Delco guy. So Philly, this is like our boat. We got to pull hard for this squad. For Quest for the Gold, I'm Tim Furlong, NBC10.